Good afternoon, dear users. Today we will tell you how to set up Firebase storage in your application. This feature will help you upload an almost unlimited amount of content to your app without increasing its size. And also, it will make it possible to update the app content remotely without having to update it in the store every time. To get started, you need to go to firebase.google.com, sign in with your Gmail account. After that, click on Get Started. Click Add Project. Give a name to your project. Disable Google Analytics. Press Create Project. Press Continue. Click Storage in the Build section of the site. Click Get Started, Next, and choose the cloud storage location. You can choose from US, EU, or regional servers. Press Done. So storage for our application is ready. Here you can upload your files. You can also create folders where you will upload your files. This is where you can edit your content. Now we go to the rules section and edit the rules for your content. You need to keep the read option but remove the write option for users. Click Publish. Click Project Overview. Click Android Sign. Add your app package name, name and register it in Firebase. Now we go to Project Settings and Project Overview. Here will be all the information about our app. And also a Google JSON file to integrate it into our Android app. Also, don't forget to go to the App Check section and make sure that the Storage in the Product section has the status Unenforced. So we have finished the basic settings at the Firebase level. We will go to Andromo and set up Firebase Storage in our app. We have to add the Firebase component and load the JSON file we downloaded. Now we need to wait until the Firebase storage with our content is loaded into our app. Let's not forget to save the changes in our project as well. After the upload is completed, you will see a window with folders drop down. We have created one folder, Pugs. Let's choose it. Remote content is now in our app. We can save and build. Thanks for your attention and see you later.